Hello all and welcome to Sujairi's 2017 DevOps Hackathon. In our discussion today, we will see how we can create a webhook between Jenkins and GitHub using username and password. I myself, uh, I am Namrita Shah and I'm the National Solutions Architect for DevOps here with Sujairi USA. I'm a senior manager and I've been with the company for about nine plus years. I have a total experience of 15 plus years in the software industry and have led several software technology initiatives. I have been an MVP in CSharp.net and I've also been a virtual technology specialist in BizTalk. My email and my LinkedIn profile details are as shown on the screen. So for today's discussion, we will see how we want to create a web hook between Jenkins and uh, GitHub basically to ensure that whenever there are changes checked in into our github repo our jenkins project is automatically called or triggered so for this discussion what i have done is i have listed down some key steps that uh, that we need to take to ensure that these uh, that this communication between jenkins and github happens and these three steps are divided into three different sections. The first section over here, as you see, is the steps uh, for our Jenkins server. Um, so let's see what configuration changes uh, we need to do on our Jenkins server in order to ensure that this communication happens successfully. The first requirement to ensure that, uh, that we can actually trigger our Jenkins project uh, whenever there are changes checked in uh, uh, to our GitHub repo is to ensure that our, our Jenkins is, is available or has uh, an external IP address. That means it should be accessible over the internet. So that is the first requirement. The second thing is uh, in order to uh, ensure that this communication happens, we have to ensure that there are certain plugins that are installed on our Jenkins server. So you can go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins, install tab and ensure that Git and GitHub plugins are installed uh, uh, as a part of all the other plugins that are available uh, and installed on your Jenkins server. The third step over here is again to ensure that the path to Git executable has been set correctly. So you can go to manage Jenkins, configure tools and ensure that the path for, uh, for your Git executable is set correctly. The fourth step uh, over here is to create some credentials. These credentials are the credentials that you would use to connect to your GitHub account. So you can go to credentials, system, global credentials and add credentials over there by specifying your username and password. And uh, the last point over here is basically uh, configuring our uh, external URL for our Jenkins server. And in order to do that, you can go to configuration, Jenkins location, and under that, go to Jenkins URL, and then specify an external facing Jenkins URL. As we, as we discussed earlier, that our Jenkins needs to be installed on um, on a server that has a public facing or an external facing IP address. So as you see over here, uh, this is an example uh, sample URL that I have pasted over here um, uh, in this presentation. And as you see, this, uh, this URL is of an EC2 instance. And um, basically what I have taken is I have taken the public DNS of, uh, of my EC2 instance and then added port 8080 to it and that essentially becomes my Jenkins URL. Jenkins URL. Uh, generally Jenkins is installed by default on port 8080 but by let's say if you happen to change that then please ensure that uh, you change the corresponding port as well. And a very good practice that typically comes handy to me, and this is purely from my experience, is to ensure that you copy your Jenkins uh, server public URL or to a notepad. Because later on when we go towards configuration of GitHub, we will be using this URL over there as well. 
so the next uh, set key uh, key steps are for our github uh, repo so the first thing is to select the github repo um, that needs to work in coordination with your jenkins project so let's say whatever github record repo that you want to select you can select that now in that uh, in your selected github repo go to settings then go to integration and services and then go to add jenkins hook url and over there uh, you need to copy the the entire ip address basically the public url of your uh, jenkins server along with the port on which jenkins server has been exposed in this case port 8080 and then along with that just post fix it with github webhook as shown over here in the example and ensure that after the webhook you specify that slash as you see over here just just ensure that your url over there uh, for your jenkins hook is exactly how it is shown over here in the example okay and remember we had copied our public uh, public url for our jenkins server on our notepad in the previous steps for jenkins server you that will come handy over here when you specify your uh, url on your github repo and then after you have done this click on update service now before you move out of uh, your github repo all you want to do is you want to ensure that you copy uh, the https url to your github repo on your notepad so uh, we will be looking the looking at this uh, in action as well but typically on your github repo you will see that there is a clone or a download button and if you click on that uh, it will show you a text box which has your uh, which shows your uh, uh, https github repo you can just click uh, cop, uh, click, click on copy to clipboard and that will um, copy the url and you can then in turn uh, uh, paste it in your notepad for future reference so then uh, let's go to the next set of steps the next set of steps over here is basically configuring your jenkins project now select a jenkins project that needs to be called or that needs to be triggered uh, via webhook on any commit to your github repo and let's say once you have selected your jenkins project uh, go to configure go to source code management and under that go to select uh, set sorry set uh, repository url and uh, basically this is going to be the repository url for your github repo now remember in the earlier um, in the earlier steps we had actually copied the https url to our github repo to our notepad we will be using that over here and we will copy that github uh, git url the https url over here and then finally select your credentials and then specify the branch that needs to be uh, developed or that needs to be uh, developed or essentially you want to compile okay so let's see this in action okay so i am right now in my uh, on my jenkins server over here and let me quickly go to manage jenkins so my Jenkins server, as you see, it is on a public URL. As you see, this is my uh, my public DNS. Okay, this is on and this is in, uh, this is running on an EC2 instance. The port that it is running on is 8080 over here, as you see. So it is on a public facing uh, uh, IP address and it is on port 8080. So that was our first. Uh, requirement the second requirement was to ensure that all the required plugins are installed so let's go to manage plugins okay and then let's go to installed and then over here we will see that uh, we have github plugin and sorry we have git plugin and then we also have our github plugin so we have both 
as you see we have git and our github plugins installed correctly so we are covered over there the next step over here would be again going to manage jenkins and then going to configure system and then scrolling down and setting the Jenkins URL. Now, as you see, this is my public facing Jenkins uh, URL. As you see, this is, this is the same URL as the one that I have over here on the top in my address bar. And basically what I have done is um, I have uh, added the port as well. So ensure that you specify your Jenkins URL, the public facing URL as it is shown over here. The next thing that uh, we wanted to see was with our uh, path to our uh, Git uh, executable. So let's go to global tool configuration and we want to ensure that our path for our git executable has been set correctly so right now the path that i have given over here is c colon program files git cmd and just to ensure that our git exe is present over here i'm just going to uh, go to this particular ec2 instance this is my ec2 instance and I'm going to go over there and see that my git exe is present here at this location. As you see, it is present here and it is available. Okay. So I believe we have covered all the steps for our Jenkins server. Let's just check once again. Let me quickly go back and see. So yes, it is on a public facing IP address. Our Git and our GitHub plugins are installed. Our Git executable, Git exe, the path is set. And oh, yes, we still have to create our uh, credentials. So let's go ahead and see that. So let's go to credentials. And for this demo, I have already created the credentials. But let's say if you had to create, then you can go to system. And then uh, you can go to global credentials and then click on add credentials and it will give you an option over here as you see it will give you an option I have given my username and my password over here and you can uh, create your credentials accordingly as well okay so go back to my credentials domain oh, okay Finally, the next part over here is to ensure that uh, our, our uh, Jenkins URL is a public facing uh, URL and we, we did see that our Jenkins URL has a public DNS and, and it is external facing and our uh, Jenkins server is exposed on port 8080. And as mentioned over here, we will copy our Jenkins server public URL to our notepad. So let's do that. So Jenkins, manage Jenkins, configure system, and where is, here it is, sorry going to copy my Jenkins URL over here in a notepad I want to use it I can use it from here easily okay so these were all the settings for your Jenkins server now let's go and look at all the settings for our git hub repo now I'm I have chosen this particular github repo which is under my um, personal github account and my repo name is aws code pipeline jenkins aws code deploy underscore windows so I, for this particular github repo uh, i want that every time a check-in is made uh, or or any uh, changes are committed to my github repo my jenkins project needs to be triggered 
So for this specific GitHub repo, I am going to go to settings. As you see, the settings over here. And under settings, I am going to go to integration and services. And then over here, um, this is already configured for this demo, but let's say if you had to configure it, I'm just going to put this in an edit mode. And what you need to do is that you need to provide your Jenkins hook URL. Now this particular uh, uh, URL that we had copied for our Jenkins server, we will be using this URL uh, to mention this as a part of our webhook URL. So what you need to do is essentially, as I'm going over here, I'm just going to copy this here. Then as you see, it has webhook to it so ensure that your url is mentioned in the same fashion with http your uh, public dns your uh, jenkins port and finally after that github webhook and then a slash at the end and finally after we have done all this we are going to just update the service over here if you want if you like you can also test the service uh, but that's provided your integration with your Jenkins has been completed. Since we are yet to do that, we will not be testing it at this time. We will uh, eventually test it after we have, uh, you know, configured one of our Jenkins project that needs to be triggered whenever a check-in happens to this particular GitHub repo. So after doing this, let's go back to our code. Okay. And then one of the things that we need to do is that we need to ensure that we have copied our uh, GitHub uh, repos HTTPS URL. Okay, so click on clone or download. If you click on this, it will essentially give you um, the, your HTTPS URL for your GitHub repo. You can click on this icon which shows copy to clipboard and this will essentially copy this URL. And after that, all that you need to do is copy this to your notepad, just like this. Okay, so this is your HTTP UR, HTTPS URL to your GitHub repo. And as you see, it ends with a dot git. So now, uh, let's see if we have completed all the steps for our GitHub. So yes, we selected a GitHub repo. We also added our Jenkins hook URL. We copied uh, our uh, Jenkins public URL from our notepad as I just showed you and we clicked on update service. At the same time, we also copied our uh, HTTP UR, HTTPS URL to our GitHub repo to our notepad. And this we will be using this particular HTTPS URL to configure our Jenkins project. Mm. So let's go and take a look at our Jenkins project. So first we need to select the Jenkins project that needs to be triggered uh, whenever a check-in is made to our GitHub repo. For this, I have created a special project called has GitHub web hook. So let's go ahead and take a look at this particular project and take a look at its configuration. So we will go to this particular project and as you see the project name over here is GitHub web hook. And I have given, I have ensured that if there are any concurrent uh, check-ins or any concurrent builds that are triggered, then they can be executed concurrently. Uh, so in this case, what happens is that if there are any simultaneous check-ins, then and, and there are two uh, concurrent builds going on, then they will be executed. Okay, so finally coming to the section for source code management. So let's go down over here and for, for our source code management, we have selected our source code provider over here as git. And here we need to provide our repository URL. So as you see, I have already provided this repository URL and this repository URL is essentially the same one that we had copied over here from our GitHub repo. So the one that starts with HTTPS and ends with a dot git. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this URL here. Okay. And finally, it gives you a drop down over here. As you see, 
uh, uh, for your profile for your credentials and you want to select from this drop down the list any any credential uh, that you want to use to connect with this particular uh, github repo ensure that the credentials that you choose has access to that specific github repository and finally you want to specify the branch that needs to be uh, developed or compiled or built for by this particular jenkins project okay and uh, finally we need to ensure that uh, under build triggers we uh, check github hook trigger for github scm polling okay and here finally i've given um, i mean this is a ruby based project so i've just i'm just executing uh, rake.bat but whatever your application uh, 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 you know build uh, process may be whatever commands that you want to give to build your application you can certainly specify that over here and then finally i'm going to apply all the changes so let's see if we have uh, covered all our points for our Jenkins project. So yes, we did select a Jenkins project that needs to be called via webhook on any commit, and we did set um, the uh, the GitHub repo URL for our Jenkins project. We did select the credentials, and we also specified the branch that needs to be built um, by this particular Jenkins project. So since we have completed all our configuration, uh, what we will do is we will commit a check-in and, um, and then we will see if our, uh, our uh, Jenkins project is triggered because of a check-in uh, to our uh, GitHub repo. Okay, so let's save these changes. So for this demonstration, um, I have actually cloned my GitHub repo on my uh, local machine over here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a subtle change uh, to one of the files and, and commit those changes locally. And then finally push those changes to my GitHub repo. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this readme.md, okay? and I am going to add a line over here. Adding changes to trigger the web hook. Okay, so I'm going to save this. So now we have made changes to readme.md. I'm going to close my uh, notepad over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git bash right here. Okay. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to add these changes. Okay. After I add these changes, I'm going to do a git dot git commit. Okay, and so to read me for web hook tab. Okay, and then I'm going to save my changes. Okay, so I save my comments, and now finally, what I'm going to do is I am going to push these changes to my GitHub repo yes okay so our changes have been pushed uh, to our github repo and our uh, change set code the commit code starts from a5133 so let's go to our github repo Let's take a look at it and we should actually see a new commit over here and there it is a5133 and that's our uh, comment right there. 
Okay, so our changes have been committed. And since our changes have been committed to our GitHub repo, our Jenkins project should have been triggered. So let's go and take a look at our GitHub webhook project. Now this project should have been triggered now. So as you see, the last build, which is build number 11, was just triggered like 40 seconds ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at this build. Okay, as you see, the changes that triggered this build was changes to readme for webhook demo. And if you click on detail or GitHub web, then it will show you those changes. And you it also shows you that these uh, changes or this particular build was started by a GitHub push by so-and-so user. So friends, I hope this was helpful. And this essentially shows you that how you can trigger uh, a Jenkins project uh, if there are any changes uh, to your GitHub repo by creating a webhook. I hope this was helpful and uh, feel, please feel free to leave your comments um, uh, on our YouTube uh, channel or if you have any questions or concerns then you can post them on our Slack channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you later.